Look at that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you've seen there in the little intro, I had to do a little bit of re-splitting. And now, I'm gonna pick through all this slash and pick out the nicer stuff so I can keep it to sell or to use myself or just to give away. We're gonna see just how much we got out of that big trailer load. And then, we'll go up and measure how much nice wood we got out of it. I already took care of most of the stuff out of the Ultratech trailer. It's in the gator, as you can see. Now we're going to sort through all this stuff and get the good stuff out of the dump trailer and see just how much we come up with out of that big load that I just stacked. So I'm going to explain how I'm going to sort everything out. I got the smaller kindling stuff like this. Okay. And I got... Well, that's kindling there, too. But, let me just pick a piece up off the ground here. And the thicker, more meatier stuff right here on the ground. So, the smaller stuff I'm going to stack in the, the gator here. And then, I'm probably going to toss some of the chunkier stuff over here. Just so it's out of the way from being in here. And then, the bigger, meatier stuff, I'm going to throw right here on a pile that I'll then load up and take wherever I'm going to take it. So that's how it's going to go. Like this piece here has some pretty good meat there. It does taper down, but I'll throw that right there. I'm only taking the stuff that's full length or almost full length because I don't really feel like dealing with all that, that shorter stuff. And that has some meat to it. This really doesn't take that long, guys. You know what I mean? And I, I, I really like this type of stuff because I really like playing with the fire. So the faster it burns, the more I get to throw in, the more I get to burn. You know what I mean? Keep those flames going for a longer period of time instead of just having a nice, nice big chunks in there with, uh, with big coal bed you know what I mean like this stuff this stuff will dry quick and burn great I burn stuff like this all the time and I I really enjoy it because I get to mess with the fire a lot more I know it looks like a lot well for that big of a load of firewood it's gonna be a lot but I really don't mind I really don't mind. Now I am gonna stack it just so you see roughly what it is. Now, this stuff is fluffy, I guess you call it. You know what I mean? Because it's small and some of it's kind of curled. It's probably gonna look like a little more than what it is because there's gonna be a lot of air, spa air space in between all these little pieces. Normally, I just toss it in here. Oh look, a wasp already. <laughs> Couldn't do that again. Right in the crack. Alright guys, that is the dump trailer cleaned out. Now I'm going to go through this again. I'm not really going to be too picky. This is just bark. But I'm going to get the scoop shovel and go through here. I'm not worried about chunks like this or like this. I want the full length stuff. Like I already went through this, like I said, and uh, pulled most of it out, but I'm sure there's some stuff I missed. So 
as I scoop and see it, I'll pull it out. If I don't see it and it goes in the trailer, well, that's where it's gonna go. Looks like all short stuff, some bark. I don't get too picky when it comes to taking it out of this Alter Tech here. But there's a decent piece. Said if I see it right away, I will get it. Like that piece there. But if I don't see it, and it makes its way to the dump trailer, that's where it stays. So. Unless it's a really nice piece, I will jump back in the trailer and get it. <clears throat> to me, this isn't really that bad. That isn't really that bad. These chunks, really not that bad. Let's say I use 60% of the slash that comes off of the box wedge uh, to burn for myself or to take to other people's fires that, that they're having, I will grab a bunch and just take it with and burn it. It's really, really, really not as bad as it looks. Unless you're not really into this type of stuff. So this is all the slash that I pulled out of there that I wanna keep. So it's all full, pretty much full length, 16 inch stuff that I like to burn, my buddies like to burn, you know, I mean, we all like to keep feeding the fire and getting those flames going, and this stuff is the ticket for that. So, there you go. That's what's left. That is what's going to go to the township. They have a free yard debris dumping area that I can take this to and, and just get rid of it. Let me show you the other bigger chunks, the shorts and the longs that I... I threw out as I was stacking over here. Now all this isn't from that load. Some of it is from the load that Ian and I did. Uh, I'm gonna say 85% of this is from my uh, solo run with the, with the big load. Not too bad. Again, I will be burning this or taking it to friends to burn, no big deal. Just gotta figure out where I wanna put it. All right, as you can see, I painted a line. So there's three rows here, and all three rows pretty much came to that line with the load that Ian and I did the other week. <clears throat> now, from that line over is what was in the trailer with my solo run that I had it nice and heaping. Again, three rows and then we got that short back row there just to continue on so let me go get a measuring tape and see if i can figure out just how much wood was in the dump trailer with my longest run and biggest heaping load in the dump trailer to date all right got my tape i'm gonna go from this guy Seven and a half feet. We'll go from this guy to this guy, and that's six and a half feet. From here up, let's just say it's seven feet from here up. That's seven foot nine. So let's split the difference there. We got six and a half and seven and a half. So we'll, we'll just say seven feet. And we'll go seven and a half. Let's get the old calculator out here. Seven times 7.5 times four. It's 210 cubic feet. So that's over a cord. Now let's go measure this little short stack over here. 
All right, let's measure this short stack here. We'll make it easy. We'll just go from here. So we got three foot five, three foot. So I'll cut that in half. So just say two and a half feet by four feet. Two and a half by four by 1.3. 13 cubic feet, so that gives us a total of 223 cubic feet. So 223 divided by 128, one and three quarter cords in that heaping trailer load, which is awesome. Very cool. So there you go, 1.75 cord. Very, very awesome. So that was my biggest, longest run. And that was basically four rows of wood that were probably 12 to 14 foot long and probably four and a half to five foot high. Not too freaking bad. So out of that 1.75 cord, I got a little bit of slash that's in the trailer which isn't bad at all. I'll take that all day, every day. So that's not too shabby, guys. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, guys, it's really not as bad as what it looks, unless you don't plan on keeping the stuff like this, then yes, you might have more of a mess on your hands to try to get rid of. But I try to use as much as I can. Like I said, I could save all this and burn it if I really wanted to, but I don't want to save all the little hunks and chunks. You know what I mean? I guess there you go. I don't know if anybody's done a video like this showing you how much slash you actually get from 1.75 cord, but there you have it and I'm happy to bring it to you. Some people hate the box wedges because of the slash, but there is a huge trade-off for me when you get quality wood like that. Nice, symmetrical, awesome pieces of wood. You can't complain about the little bit of stuff that you can burn or give away if you take 20 to 30 minutes to go through it all. It's no big deal. Put your mind to it. You could probably bundle this stuff up and sell it as kindling if you really wanted to. Me, I don't want to. I'm looking at it as I can enjoy some fire time with this stuff and the chunks. And my neighbors all around here can also enjoy it because if they need wood or are having a fire that they invite me to, I just bring some wood with me and just make the day that much more better. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for this one. So if you like this type of stuff, go ahead and Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, tell one of your friends. I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo! Almost got me. See ya.